All right guys, the next step in the sheet metal box process is to actually come over here uh, to the, the last table in the shop where we have our box and pan break. Okay, once you get to your box and pan break area, you're gonna wanna sit your sheet metal down and you're gonna wanna actually practice folding all of your paper parts first. So you're gonna fold all your hems first and you're gonna practice this and make sure that your box looks good, okay? So I've done that already, so it's time to move on to the next step. Box and pan break has fingers, has this bar as you lift up on the yellow handles. It allows you to bend 90 degree angles or even farther than 90 degree angles to create our hems, okay? So we look at our sheet metal plan here and the first thing we wanna bend are all of our hems. Okay, we want to roll that edge over, have a nice rounded surface so that way we can't cut our finger. I'm going to do that by laying my sheet metal down on this surface and I'm going to line this line here up with the edge of the job. Once I get it to that position, okay, I simply pull up on our yellow handle and I'm going to go all the way up until it hits the jaw. Put the handle back down, lift up on our release our jaw release handle. I'm going to slide my hem, which looks like this right now. I'm going to slide my hem back underneath there and I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure down on the jaws. And now we have our hem rolled over. So it's nice and smooth. Looks good. Okay. I'm going to do that all the way along here. Okay, now that I have all of my hems rolled over, okay, so I have a nice smooth outside edge for my box, it's time to actually start to bend up the sides to my box. Now here's where you need to do a little thought process before you start bending your box up. If I take and bend the side on the left here up, and the side on the right here up first, my tabs won't functionally work to fasten this together. So I have to actually bend the tabs the side and the tab all up at the same time. So I'm going to do that first, turn it around, do this side second, and then I will come back and finish these two last. And we want to bend that up 90 degrees. I'm going to go just a little bit past and take my hand and pull back on it so that way it's a tight 90. Lift that up, take a look at my bend. Okay. It's right down the line here. Okay. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Ninety degrees, just a little bit past. I'm going to pull back on that. Take this up, I'm going to take a look at it. Okay. Now my side here is a little bit too far past 90, so I'm going to take and just pull back on that, put my fingers down low, that's going to get it where it needs to be. Okay. This side here, looking pretty good. My tabs are out just a little bit farther than what they need to be, so I'm actually going to put this back in here, and I'm just going to re-bend that a little bit past 90, so that way those tabs go inside of my box. Now doesn't matter if your tabs are on the outside of the box or the inside of the box. It's all about personal preference and personal look. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to put them on the inside. Okay, all right, so now I have my box all bent up, at least half of it. I'm going to get the last two ends and then we can move on to our next task. Slide that in there. Bring that up. Oop. That jaw is just a little bit too wide for us guys, so I'm going to actually go over to the smaller jaw here. Must have designed this one just a little bit smaller than normal. Okay. Do this side, and we'll use this one.
put my fingers in here just to hold that. Bring it up, nice and tight. Okay, and as I bring that out, there's my box, looking good. Okay. Now I can move on to the fastener process. Okay, happy box bending.